Good morning, guys. Today is uh, our fifth day of this tour, and this is the first destination of today's tour, guys. It's Ram Gram. We are at Ram Gram. We are at Ram Gram. So. So this is the hello explain Gardimna. Okay please explain about this. This place is known as Ram Gram hmm. where the Drona Brahman uh, divided the relic of uh, Lord Gautam Buddha mm -hmm. to different uh, kings of the of, I don't know which places are there. Eight and different places. And and one of the relic has kept in this place. Mm -hmm. And while the Oz King Asoka uh, came here and tried to take out the relic mm -hmm. to make the stupa, he could not take out because the snake has a protector over here. That's it. That's it. Okay. English <laughs> 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 Welcome drink. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are at Chitwan. Chitwan, guys. Hello, guys. No, no, I'm like, bunny. Swimming going in the bro. Hello, what's up, man? Flow, mirror, flow, mirror, flow, mirrors. Other pool party, guys. Did you know? Did you know? Pool party. Temperature only month here, hottest month. This guy. Oh, love. I don't. I want to share you about the program. <coughs> they don't give you permission to drive inside the park due to the road. The rain is there. The road has been blocked. That's why May, June, July, August. No, National Park alone is closed for the drive. That's why we're going to visit the place called Kumro's Community Forest. It's like a Bopor zone. Don't worry about it. What are you going to do? If you go in National Park, what do you see? The same time you'll see that. And the forest is a beautiful, I told you, first group they have seen 14 rhinos, second group they have seen seven rhinos. I don't know, that's why I said, Cross your finger. How many rhino you do? <laughs> yeah? But when you come back, I, I want to see all the smile face. What do you have at seen? Who, whatever you have, you have seen there. Thank you very much. And Babu Dai is going to lead your group. I'll meet you on a sport and I'll give you half an hour. Hari, there's a two guys leading the group, Babu Dai and Hari. They lead your group, take you to the village jungle and the river where the sunsets are 
I'll be there before you and I'll give you some orientation about the Chiton National Park there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. See. Now they will guide us. We should follow them. Okay. <laughs> now we'll visit to uh, this important natural science. Natural okay. sites. Okay. We'll feel enjoy. Okay. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. We'll take enjoy. <laughs> Anything else? Nothing. No. Okay. Thanks. Blogger <laughs> Yes, sir. Hello. Blogger <laughs> So we are walking. Uh, today we are going to see the uh, Chitwan uh, sunset in Soraha. Okay. Uh, so it will be very interesting. And on the path we may see uh, some birds maybe. Birds, okay. Yeah. And I don't know uh, what to say uh, our guide. We'll see. Yes. But anyway, it will be very interesting. Okay. Okay, guys, this is my first time visiting Tituan. Yeah, I'm, I'm yes. coming your first time. Yeah, our brother's also first time. And he's the local here. Oh. <laughs> Local tourist. Who knows about local grass? <laughs> local grass. Since we crossed over that fence, we are at the buffer zone of the national Buffer zone. Buffer zone. Actually, I am like. Buffer zone. Buffer part of the community is managed by the community. That's what I am Honest, honest. Honest, Bill. So, you know, oh, Balero, what you know? Which guide was it? Guide was it? Sit you. Why not? Why not? Guide never said that. Sorry, you know. Great, great, intermediate, great, little, 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 Jalepani was a chain dog drop around the head, was had him out. Yes, this is a good tap of attitude. Mugara, Alta Mugara, Wow. Sign it to Nazi Nazi, go ahead, baby. Tinta Nongra go pile out. Job. I got it up for Sari Kutta, price a kit hammer ticket. You already put a whole body put up for Sari Kutta, price a kit hammer ticket. You put it out. Okay guys, we saw a rhino from very close, so we are waiting for the rhino to come this side, where he has went, okay there you can see, <coughs> there is the rhino, he is eating food. Oh. Ma, 
Chinese education. Yo, what's that? You should have a Chinese education. The Riverrand Forest is a very good habitat for the different type of mammals like rhinos, deer, tiger, leopard, bear. We don't see a sad forest from here. Definitely tomorrow we'll do the different activities. We'll see the sad forest too. I already told you in the class about the Chitwan. Chitwan has been established in 1973. Before 1973, this valley was highly infected by the man killer disease malaria. No one was interested to live down at Chitwan. But there was a only one tribe called Tarut who are living here since prehistoric time. They are the native tribe from this valley. But lots of people who migrate from the hilly region they get a chance to learn how the Taru lives. But in the same time, Taru's got a chance to live how cultivation goes on. They didn't know any cultivation at all. The mixed forest has always been a very good for the different type of mammals. I already told you, in Chitwan is approximately 200 meters above the sea level and approximately it's a 952 square kilometers. That means you can cover the very small part. You're not going to cover the whole Chiton at all. That small part might even get a chance to see a different type of marbles. The sunset already has been down. The mixed forest Sometimes, if you stay quietly, you know, like one thing's always remember when you're taking your clients. If you respect the nature, nature is going to respect you. If you don't, nobody respect you at all. The jungle do have some rules and regulations. Today, either tomorrow, when you do your activities, drive, whatever, you have to be very quiet. You have to listen to the birds. You have to feel it yourself. If you make a noise, insect. The same, the monsoon, you don't never get a chance to see those type of insects at October, November, and December. October, November, and December do have a different charm. But if you bring your clients, when you are bringing your clients, if they you want to take them to the Chitwan, I'll always suggest you February, March, April with a good time to see the rhinos. All the mammals. The reason is that, that's a, before that, they do have a grass cutting season. You know, I told you in the class, we do have a 40 different type of grass. Some grass can grow taller than the tree, taller than the elephant, that's why we call them elephant grass. If the mammals go inside the elephant grass, they got, they don't, we don't get a chance to see anything at all. In a January, they do have a grass cutting season. They cut the villages, they got a chance to allow to go inside the NASA park to collect the grass. The grass is a very useful for them, for the threshing the roof, some grass for the cattle, some grass they can sell it in a paper factory. <coughs> Where do they get the money? <coughs> when the grass cut uh, cut season will be up, the area will be very open, okay? And when you'll see the grassland, you get a chance to see more mammals. <coughs> I told you everything at class about the cheap one. This is the sport where, from where you can see the southern boundary and the northern boundary. I already told you we're not going to visit all the cheap one. We just cover a small part. That's what we do, Babatai. Come, tell them the time what time they have to be in a, a hotel, what time uh, the dinner is. Uh, this is the short information about the Chiton. I'll be with you until Kathmandu. If you have any question about the wildlife, any time you can ask me. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.
Lala, lala, 